Hello guys, today I want to talk with you about some simple hosting for your websites. So first of all, let's limit what are we talking here. And uh, this is uh, what you see on the screen is my website. This is simple static website that I build without frameworks because it's very, very simple, it's basic. You know, it serves the purpose of uh, my portfolio of projects I've done or my blogs with articles, let me move myself. Um, and uh, since it all can be compiled and served as a static assets, uh, it doesn't have to be complicated. So let me put it aside and uh, let me show you the code for it. By the way, you can find it on the GitHub. You can see the link to GitHub below if you're interested to know how it is done. Um, so basically, here you can see simple packages on with some scripts for running, running it locally, for the client side, for the backend side. Uh, backend is very simple. I just collect emails for the blog subscription if you want to receive notifications about new blog posts. Um, and deploy script is here. So deploy script is what I actually wanted to focus about today. Um, so it's done with Firebase and Firebase, as you might know or not know, is a Google uh, owned Google.com uh, Google owned service for building applications. It is very good for mobile applications, but web applications as well. It has plenty of services. So uh, we are focusing on build section of it today. There are some analytics and performance monitoring and other additional uh, stuff. But as developers, we are mostly interested in the build thing. Um, so for building applications, you need hosting itself where the data is served from, like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, if we are talking about front end. Uh, it has database, but we won't speak about it today. Uh, I might cover it in other videos if you are interested. Uh, by the way, please let me know in the comment comments if you want to know more about Firebase. I think about I have five or so years with it, and it's been great so far, except database. And uh, yeah, we'll speak about it later. So. Uh, Firebase Cloud Functions, Authentications, Hosting, and Storage are, the, I think, four most important parts of the Firebase. So, hosting is for front-end for your single-page applications or multiple-page applications, like uh, my website is a multiple-page application, but it's static. Um, cloud Functions are for back-end tasks, you can use it for server-side rendering as well, if you want your multi-page application to be served from, you know, backend, um, with Node.js mostly. But also, I think it supports Python and uh, Java. Not sure, because I'm not Node.js developer, I don't know about that stuff. Uh, Authentication, if it's for, you know, email, password, Google, Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, and other third-party services stuff, phone authentication with SMS, and cloud storage is for uploading some files from your users. Like, let's say you're building, well, uh, invoices application, and you want your clients to upload invoices. So they can do it from the front end directly to the storage, and cloud functions can be triggered by that and do some, let's say, invoice parsing, you know, uh, machine vision stuff. Um, so this is just a quick introduction of what Firebase is for those who don't know and uh, what are building blocks. Uh, okay, let's go back to the hosting part of it. So deploy is simple. Once you uh, created a project in the console here, I have many projects. Uh, here is my uh, website one. So once you've created the project in the console, you go to hosting and you activate it. You, you will have a get started button or something there. 
and you can create one or multiple sites. So I, I have a few websites here. One of them is uh, my AntonTrubin.com. Another one is uh, my home quality control uh, sensors dashboard for temperature, humidity, CO2 levels and pollution stuff. Um, and there are many other upcoming like uh, my own chat GPT implementation uh, where I, well you can you can speak with chat GPT um, yeah so this is hosting can support multiple sites uh, but let's talk more about how you can uh, configure it in the code so what Firebase hosting is interested in is just where you are going to deploy your files from so like what folders is a folder what folder is uh, your assets your html css and javascript so usually it's dist or build or uh, something like that uh, for me it's dist here and uh, you can see all my files compiled nicely here in to JavaScript folder, image folder, well, it's all up to you, up to how you you structure your website. <clears throat> it can be Angular, React, Vue, Svelte application, anything like that. Uh, once build stage passed, it will be all in one folder that you will deploy to Firebase. Here, Target is uh, one of these free websites I host there just to specify what exactly uh, like url it is linked to etc uh, by the way you can uh, you get free dot uh, web dot app urls for your sites uh, and you can also attach your custom domains like you buy a domain on godaddy or google domains yeah don't use godaddy not my favorite uh, yeah, so, and you can attach them here. So your site URL is nice. Uh, what else? It supports multiple deploys and rollback. If you, uh, let's say you deployed something, you went to sleep, but your boss calls you and like, hey, you fucked up <laughs> and uh, the website is down or there is some issue and you are on your phone you don't have access to your computer because you're in the bed and you just want to roll back so you go to this page on your mobile and you click roll back and it will go back to the previous version uh, it supports also preview channels just like Vercel hosting supports preview channels for you know different branches if you work on some specific feature and you want it not to be visible yet but to be available for your development team and for your boss to show um, obviously for my personal website and I don't use it because I developed it alone okay uh, go back to the configuration file so in Firebase JSON we specify what commands we need to run to deploy the website and for me it is some build step where I compile my uh, stuff uh, again for React, Angular and etc it's same build step second step is to specify uh, where we are deploying which target yeah uh, sometimes firebase is a little bit inconvenient in some parts like here i specified target already but sometimes it asks you to um, link it again in the code so this is what the second line here but usually, especially if you have just one uh, target, you don't have this thing here at all and you won't have this thing. Um, other things that are useful if you just start starting to work with Firebase hosting and you want to integrate it with your API, let's say, your cloud functions, is the overrides section. So here, source means uh, what path of URL will be redirected where in my case subscribe email let me show you what it is so if we go to some blog article scroll to the bottom 
uh, we will see this subscribe section uh, where you can leave your email for spam yeah I had to put this joke here sorry no spam um, and I want it to be served by my cloud function and uh, this form will send HTTP request to API subscribe email that will go to subscribe email function that sits in the functions folder here which is simple TypeScript function like that here I validate input save email to the database notify slack to be updated and uh, that's it basically I, I use uh, SendGrid to manage emails yeah that's it so simple example of HTTP function uh, okay go back if you want to specify something like uh, cache control for example for caching files you can go to headers section and do it there I don't cache any API uh, responses here because it's not needed but you can specify that too mm, uh, but more importantly I specify static files like well JavaScript CSS images uh, fonts etc they are cached for one year and I specify content encoding so it is using some, something like uh, jzip or broadly so it compresses files uh, while it caches it so your clients need to download compressed files that are you know smaller than not compressed files um, yeah and that's basically it that's all you need to know about Firebase hosting if you're building simple website with maybe some API integration um, uh, yep yeah, for details check github and if you want to know more please let me know in the comments what exactly maybe you want to know more how to build a interactive website not a static site like this I have some examples to explain with file upload and uh, event driven backend application that triggers by file upload or database changes and maybe you want to know about Firebase real-time database or Firestore one of them yeah um, so far thank you for your attention and see you in the next one ciao